Now I'm going to take a look at a Ruger, a new Ruger, kind of a new spin on the existing Ruger, the 9E. So this is a Ruger 9E or SR 9E? I guess it's just calling it a 9E. So it's a it's a uh, an effort. They definitely went towards what I personally would be interested in. So if I was going to be interested in a Ruger, uh, a couple of things they needed to get rid of. One was a loaded chamber indicator, and they got rid of that on this economy model. I like that. I guess they used to have an adjustable sight in the back, I think, and now it's not, and that's fine. They got rid of the forward serrations. I don't care about that, but it cuts down on cost. Then who cares about forward serrations? Uh, however, I'm still not buying one because they left the safety on. I can't stand a safety on a defensive type of carry firearm. Otherwise, it's a really neat effort, I think, and it's neat that they're paying attention to what people are asking for. At least that's what they suggest. Maybe it's just to be, you know, cheaper to put another option out there that doesn't cost as much. But uh, overall, I don't really like the look of it. But I didn't like the look of a Glock either. Uh, I would probably get used to it if I had to shoot it. But uh, I can't stand the fact that they keep putting this safety back here. So uh, aside from the complaining about that, otherwise I think it's a pretty neat looking gun. Uh, price point under $400. So you could probably get one of these at 399guns.com if they have them in stock. Uh, otherwise it's a pretty neat little pistol for what it is. And uh, bravo Ruger for at least uh, attempting to pay attention to what people are looking for out there. And making a nice, simple, efficient pistol. Thanks for watching.